excited and happy to be with you. I want to remind ourselves, last time when we are here, we learned about Paul and Barabbas. Paul and Barabbas, remember, they were preaching the good news of Jesus. So they wanted to go and share this good news with the governor. But there's another man who used to be with the governor. And this man was called by Jesus. But Jesus had evil spirit and he was so evil. So he didn't want Paul and Barabbas. Uh, to go and give this good news about Jesus to the governor. So when they got there This man was trying to stop them and block them. Then guess what happened? They bow the Holy Spirit got on him and it his eyes became blind because there's something which came like a mist which came into his eyes and he could not see when the governor saw this, he immediately believed in Jesus and he knew this man who is so powerful, this God, Paul and Barabbas and are talking about, is so powerful because he's the only one who can make some people, someone blind. Now, today we have a different story about Paul. And remember, Paul being a man of God who was going all over preaching the word of God. So many people didn't like him. So, there are those who plotted for him to be taken into prison and for indeed he was but he was to be transferred from that town to another different town and for him to get there they were to use a big ship or a big boat now you can imagine see you know the boat is passes through the sea and in the sea there's so many waves the time there is storm which comes and make you fear because the waves you come up and everyone is shocked and afraid and thinks that you're going to die here. So, when Paul started their journey, he was not alone. He was in a company of other prisoners who were with him. There was a man who was a centurion, and also there were soldiers who were accompanying them so that they don't run away and make sure they get to the other side of the prison in the other town where they were to be kept. And also there were other people who were sailing with them and now the captain of the ship. The captain is the one who controlled the ship. As they started their journey, there was this storm that started coming in when they were in the middle of the sea. And it was so strong. So they stayed there for 40 and they were so afraid. Imagine they were afraid. No one of them would eat anything because they were so scared. So on the 14th day, something happened when it was still dark they found that now they could tell when the ship is getting somewhere when it's closer to the land because now the waters the levels of the waters becomes lower and lower and so they can feel that uh, the ship now is trying to struggle because of the weight so what they did they lowered the anchor anchor is something which helps the ship to stop because it goes down there and it hooks down into the rocks or the sides so that it makes the ship stop. Because they didn't know exactly where they were going because it was so dark. And then there was these winds. There are some of the sailors decided, ah, you're not going to stay in the ship again. We are going to run away. So what they decided, they started to lower small boats, which are called light boats, so that they can get into them and then they disappear. They run away and use those ones. But when they were trying to do that, Paul was given this revelation by the Holy Spirit and he told the captain of the ship, tell no those sailors, no one should get out of this boat because if they try to get out of the boat, they are going all to die. So the captain told everyone, no one is moving out of this boat. And do you know what the soldiers did? They went and cut off the ropes which were used to lower down those small boats. So when they were there, Paul realized that they had not eaten, all of them, they had not eaten himself, but they had some food. So Paul told them, through the power of the Holy Spirit, when he was talking to him, he told them, tell them to eat. So everyone, he told everyone, all of us, we should eat, because we have stayed here for 14 days. How many days? 14 days without eating anything. So we have to eat to make us all strong, and that we will not die when we are inside here. So he took the bread and he prayed over the bread and he said, thank you to Jesus. Then he took the bread and he cut it, started eating it and he, then he gave it to the rest. And they all ate. When they were eating, now it was approaching the morning hours. When the morning hours, it's very cold and that time it was raining. So you can imagine it was very cold for them. Then when they, they were 
they could see clearly they saw there was a small island i said an island is a place where this dry land but it's somewhere near the sea so but it's a small land so they all decided hmm, let's get there so they pulled over the anchors so that the big uh, the boat can continue moving but since now it was almost getting to that place when they were almost getting there and they pulled down again the anchor the boat they were using what hit hard by the waves and the storm at the back and you know what had it got broken and so the water started getting into the ship and you know what happens if the water gets into the ship the ship will start sinking so what the soldiers decided to do they thought now all these prisoners are going to run away so we are going to shoot them so that nobody escapes but the centurion told them no 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 don't shoot either of them just let them leave what we are going to do we are going to ask everyone if you know how to swim you're going to jump into the water and you see because it wasn't very far from where the land was they all swim to the other side and those who don't know they'll take a piece of wood from the pieces of the wood which were broken from the boat then they use it like a small boat as they are rolling themselves into the island and they all got there and nobody died because God protected them and when they got there the people the villagers of that town they welcomed them they made a big fire for them and so Paul decided to go and get more firewood from that small bushes there to add into the fire so that they can keep themselves warm and when he was doing that it happened that the some of the wood he took it had a snake on it and you imagine what happened the snake had a bite on his hand and it was hanging on his hand so the villager they all saw this they were shocked and said hey this must be a very evil man now you see even he has escaped the death of us of the sea now he's coming here and the snake is biting him but paul didn't talk to them he just shook off the stick and put it into the fire and it got burned and you know what happens if you are bitten by a snake if you're not taken to the hospital immediately you just die because it's the biting of a snake is so poisonous but nothing happened to paul because god protected him and you know that is how god sent him so when they realize that nothing is happening to paul and they know once you're bitten by a snake you're going to die so they started believing in what paul was telling them about jesus so they all believed and also they decided to take paul and some of these um, other people they were with to their chief in their town and when they got there the chief was so happy to see them he welcomed them he gave them somewhere to sleep and gave them some food and when they were there talking and chatting because they stayed for some days they realized that the father to this man he was sick so what paul did he went to see that man who was sick and when he saw him he prayed for him and he touched him and jesus healed him and now everybody in that town who was sick was brought to paul so that he can be prayed for and all of them got healed because god's power was with him and everyone was healed and so they loved paul so much and they all accepted jesus and and they loved this Jesus so much so after they stayed for about three months so they had to move away from that town but these people because they were so happy about Paul they decided uh, to help them build their boat again so they started building the boat and so Paul was able to get to the other town where he was to be kept like a prisoner and we see that from this story that God was with Paul no matter how difficult the situations were for him God was always intervening for him because you see like number one you know in the midst of the storm God ensured that the boat is not going to sink but he made it to stop until the morning when they were all able to move to the dry land and number two Jesus saved Paul from the biting of the snake which was so poisonous he never died he never got sick so God was with him and he protected him then another thing in the midst of all those problems Paul remembered to pray to Jesus because he knew Jesus is his friend and he will never never leave him and that is why we are learning the story that we should trust in this Jesus because Jesus 
always protect us from anything and he knows everything which we are going through so whenever we call to, to him he'll be there to listen what we are saying and he'll be there to give us the uh, help that we need so we have learned that during our difficult time we should remember to call on jesus because he always comes through for us he send us help he'll be there to protect us like when he was beaten by a snake he protected him he never died so even in our difficult situation god is going to be there for us he's going to help us out and he's going to make us even have much joy and peace and comfort because he's a loving father he's a faithful friend to us so we have come to the end of our lesson today and we should sing this song it says why worry when you can pray trust jesus he knows the way don't be like doubting thomas just lean upon his promise why worry 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 when you can pray yes boys and girls we should not worry when we are going through anything when we are happy when you're sad when you have difficult things we should remember that we should pray to jesus because he's always there to help us okay so let's keep on trusting with jesus but before we end our story we are going to hear our memory verse and our memory verse for the day is a very short one and it's from the book of matthew chapter 28 and verse 30 matthew chapter 28 and verse 30 it says i will be with you always even to the end of the world i repeat i will be with you always even until the end of the world now boys and girls say along with me our memory verse is from the book of matthew chapter 28 and verse 30 which says i will be with you always and even till the end of the world and this is god making and jesus making this promise to us that he will be with us always so always means all the time so there's no a single day Jesus is going to leave us alone. Are you happy to know that you have a friend who will always be with you? No matter what is happening, he'll always be with you. That is our good friend Jesus. So boys and girls, let's make sure we make Jesus our friend and we welcome into our hearts so that he can live with us and be with us always. Until next time, I say bye-bye and take care and God bless you so much. Love you.